and I deliver my baby at home without any doctor, without any midwife, without any nurse, without any help, without all of that, on sterile environments. That day, it wasn't, it wasn't really, <sighs> that day, it wasn't funny at all. At 4 a.m. was when everything started. So hey guys, Uguma here. And today's video is going to be a very different kind of video because I just want us to talk about motherhood. I want us to talk about our experience and what we've been experiencing as a mother, as a mom. A little backstory. I'm a mom to a beautiful daughter, a beautiful baby girl. Her name is Zoe. She is a year and five months now. So she's 17 months now and all glory to God, she's growing beautifully so i am going to discuss about this based on my experience so far so yeah having a year old with me it has been a wonderful experience it has been a loving and loving a loving experience but i'm going to talk about my experience when i gave birth to my daughter my experience during childbirth my experience during childbirth on the due date of delivery that was on sunday so on Sunday morning, early in the morning, around 4 a.m., the whole thing started. I started having this, you know, sort of, it was just like pain in um, my abdomen. I don't know. I could not really tell, but I already have an idea that my delivery time is around the corner, but I was not given a particular date to be precise. And as a first-time mom, I never knew, I didn't know when to um, I didn't know, okay, if this is a labor. I was thinking, okay, this pain is just normal pain that normally comes and goes that is going to disappear, you know, maybe like in one hour time and all that. But one hour has gone and the, the discomfort, the pain and everything still persists. I told my husband, we need to go to the hospital because I don't understand this pain anymore. And then um, my husband said, okay, let's, let, let's go, if that's what I want. So we entered the car and we left for the hospital that early hours of the morning. Around 5 a.m. we got to the hospital and immediately we were referred to the labor ward. We got there and um, we did some documentations prior to that. Although during antenatal, most of the documentations have been done, but still on that day, the doctor that was assigned to me asked some questions. He asked us some questions, blah, 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 and all that. And we gave him all the information needed from the doctor check, you know, conduct some examination on me. I don't know what that is. I don't know the medical terms. While the doctor was checking me, doing all of the examinations and all that, a nurse, a female nurse walked out of the labor ward and she was like, so she was talking to the doctor. She said to the doctor, leave this, leave this lady. She's not in labor. This is them. This is how they always go. Leave this lady. She's not in labor. Forget the, forget her complaint. Forget the cries and forget what she's saying and forget, forget it. she's not in labor. And I'm like, within me, I'm like, what, what is this nurse talking about? Like, I was so surprised. She was telling the doctor, oh, I don't think she is in labor. And I'm, I looked at her, I'm like, what is she talking about? So the doctor said, no, that looking at me, he can tell that my due date is already here. So the nurse left, and I even think she left because I don't need that kind of negative energy around me. In fact, this is it. If that nurse has stayed for like, 30 minutes in that office. To be frank with you, I might flare up because the kind of pain, I was in a very intense pain. The pain was so intense that, like, it's so unbearable. You know, delivery pain, labor pain and all that. It's so unbearable. So the doctor now checked me and all that. And he said to us that um, we should just... He, so he asked us where we were living. We told him and he said, okay, that since our location is not that far from the hospital, that we should just go home and then um, if the pain, pain persists, we should return back. And um, that he doesn't want to book us now, that he doesn't want to give us um, any room yet. Um, since we are close, since we are living close to the hospital, he's, if the pain persists, we should, we should return back. 
my husband said, okay, no problem. So we left. We left and we, we left. When we left, Omo, God, Omo, it looked like as if the pain tripled. When we got home, the pain, it was so unbearable that I can't even lie down. I cannot sleep. I was just going around, walking around, calling my husband, God. I will, I will call him, I will hold him, I will shout, I will scream. I told him, you, you know what, let's just go back to the hospital. And at that point in time, I already knew this is labor. We we put everything, baby things, all the things I have packed for my delivery, my baby bag, my hospital bag, all everything I have packed, my bag, my baby's own, um, the uh, the feeding bottles, the water, the hot water, like all those stuff. So we put everything in the car and we left for the hospital. When we got to the hospital, uh, we reported back to the doctor. So the doctor, he was now checking. First of all, he checked how many centimeters dilated I was. I think it was four I was four centimeters dilated at that point. So he just nodded his head. He was like, this is labor. <laughs> the doctor had to call the nurses and they told them to change me into um, my hospital gown. So I was changing it and then I was wheeled into the labor room. My people, but the experience in the labor room and everything, it was, I am telling this story now, all smiling and all giggling, but that day it wasn't, it wasn't really. <sighs> that day, it wasn't funny at all. Now, it checked as that fifth February at four AM was when everything started. I was wheeled into the labor room around um that kind six PM or so. And then I was just undergoing the pains, enjoying the pain and everything. And then around nine PM a beautiful bundle of joy Zoe came out and yeah. <sighs> that was it. So it has been a beautiful experience. I I thank God for this beautiful baby he has blessed us with and we are glad she has grown to become a year old and five months now she is 17 months now so i thank god now what i'm trying to say as a mother i have seen i have experienced a lot of things as a new mom as a first time mom as well i have learned new things and i also want to advise if you are a first time mom like me who is like pregnant and you are expecting I want you to bear this at the back of your mind. Um, when you are getting ready for, when it is time for your delivery, you yourself, you alone knows what you are going through, and you alone knows what your doctor already told you during your antenatal visit. You know your body. If you just notice anything that is out of the ordinary from what you have been experiencing during your pregnancy period, please, I advise you, just get to the hospital and see a doctor. Forget whatever thing new nurses are saying and you are not, they forget this person, she's not in labor and all that. Don't listen to that. Just make sure you are properly attended to. If I wasn't attended to at that particular point in time, like if I didn't stood my ground, if I did not maintain my ground, it's possible that I might have delivered my baby at home, which is not even proper. With no you that I don't even have any experience about childbirth and all that. It's possible that I might deliver my baby at home and um, the, and you know the danger and the risk surrounding delivering a child at home without any doctor, without any midwife, without any nurse, without any help, without all of that on sterile environment. Please make sure you are properly attended to. It is very, very important. If you're a first time mom and you are expecting, please, when it is due date and um, you experience something out of the ordinary and you know that it's labor that is coming, just make sure you find yourself in the hospital, get to the hospital, meet your doctor, make sure you are properly attended to. And the important thing I want to point out, point out here is this. Some nurses, I don't even know why they do that. Some nurses would, would say, oh, forget this woman or forget this lady. She's not in labor, forget her, blah, 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 blah. That's how they do and all that. Please don't listen to that. Make sure you maintain your ground. Make sure you are properly attended to. 
Make sure you have a doctor who is attending to you or a nurse who is attending to you. Make sure that your baby is safe and you yourself, you are safe. This is your life and this is your baby's life. So make sure you are properly attended to you. So you know your body, you understand your body and you know what you are going through. All right, I wish you safe delivery. Your baby will be safe, you will be healthy, you will come out victorious, okay? Mwah. All right, if, with that being said, if you love this video, kindly drop your thoughtful comments in the comment section and also tap the like button. And if you'd love to join this community, kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so to get notified anytime I upload new videos and please share this video who knows this might be helpful to someone all right i am going to see you in my next one bye bye